A touchdown for Lobby! And they need to get down just inside the 30, so it's first down and about 19. Start the clock. 2.59 is all that remains. Two minutes and 57, 56, 55 seconds in this ball game. Ball tied. Straight back to pass. Being rushed, now gets it away. Man downfield, and it's knocked away, and Bo White with excellent coverage down the field as Starling that time was trying to get to it, but Bo White, who's done an excellent job at his cornerback position, broke that one up. I saw two things I haven't seen tonight. I saw a tremendous rush put on uh, the quarterback Todd there, and I saw Bo White. He was there. He's been all night, and he played a super defensive game, but I'm beginning to see the uh, offensive line of Marshall give in to the defensive line of uh, in other words, they're getting to the quarterback now. There's a tremendous rush being put on him. Here's Todd down the line. Pitch back Keith Turner. <laughs> and Keith Turner is turned back as he loses three or four yards that time. And it was Allen Rodgers coming up from his linebacker position to make the big stop that time. There's Allen Rodgers. There's definitely a slugfest taking place in that line now. And it looks like the Longview Lobos are beginning to control the line of scrimmage as fatigue has been being uh, setting setting in the last couple of plays here as the crowd and everyone in the stands, everybody in the in the bushes, in the parking lot, everybody, 10,000 plus are on their feet right now. Third down and about 21 for the Mavericks. And it's tied straight back to pass, going deep over the middle for Starling. It's Starling. No, they say incomplete. Oh, he had it for just a moment, was trying to control it, and then it came out as he hit the ground. But I thought for a moment Starling had worked his way into another situation here. There's quarterback Todd back to pass. See Starling. He rips it out there. Starling dives for the football. Can't control it on the last moment. It falls to the turf incomplete. So fourth down for the Mavericks and Verhalen is on to kick it away. Only a minute 50 now left in the ball game and we could very well be headed for an overtime situation. Courtney Taylor back to receive the punt on fourth. Good snap back to Verhalen. Kicks it high. Taylor signals for a fair catch and takes it. Well, now he's running. I know I saw his hand go up. And here he goes down the sideline and is finally hemmed in at the 30. There's a flag back at the 10. There's one on the far side of the field at the 10. And <laughs> I got to believe this one's going to be against Longview. Man, oh, man. But I know I saw his hand go up for a fair catch. You know, Sid, if this does go into overtime, a minute and 32 seconds, from my recollection, this is the first time in years uh, since we've been doing this we've ever had an overtime. You remember one? We haven't had one, no. That's it. This is will be. And the Longview Lobos are deep in the hole, but they have to run out that clock. But now they are they are backed up. But watch here. You'll see Courtney Taylor's hand go up. Well, you couldn't see it in that play, but and then he starts to run. See, he's a little bit confused there, but he starts to run. And the penalty yardage is stepped off back inside the five-yard line. And so the Lobos have to be very careful here as the ball is at the three. What do you think about just quarterback sneaking you know, it? They don't want to do anything too fancy, just believe run, me. Just run out the clock. Oh, no. Oh, well, Tally's got it and fakes the pass, now takes off and gets it up across the five to about the seven. And now here's a late flag coming in. <laughs> and the Lobo sideline is screaming, so let's see if this one goes against Marshall. Oh, man, what Face a football mask violation, game. but it's just a five-yard violation. They had that, uh, the old-fashioned half-back pass with Fred Talley set up there to throw it, but it goes awry, and Talley gets out of his end done, but will get additional cushion there with another five yards with maybe mark off of an uh, inadvertent face mask. Well, that gets them out of a, a definite uh, field advantage hole, at least out of the shadow of their own end zone. There's the clock, 116, 115, and this ball game will be over. We'll move into extra innings, as you might say, in overtime. 
Well, Trey Pierce drops back in the shotgun. Oh my, be careful. And hands off to Tally. And Tally circles around the left side and is gonna be hemmed in at about the 19 yard line. And it is a first down for the Lobos. Well, uh, Sid, I, I feel like they should just play for overtime at this point with the field position. They've got, uh, how do you feel about it? Well, I think, uh, I think that might be what we see now. I think they want to get that first down. They were lucky to get it out of their own end zone. Got a little bit of a cushion there. The clock is now counting with 48 seconds for Medigan regulation time of this football game. You remember what happened at the end of the first half, though, so. Oh, watch out. Conservatism come forth in abundance. And here is a timeout call by Tally in the backfield just as the ball is snapped and the referee stops play. So with 31 seconds left in the ball game, the Lobos have called a timeout. We're tied at 21-21. This ball game, everything it was cranked up to be, our score has uh, just kind of been seesawing back and forth. At halftime, it was 14 to six Marshall. And then in the third quarter, on the very first play from scrimmage, Fred Talley sprinted 65 yards for a touchdown. And then Talley took it in for a two point conversion that tied it at 14. Then on the ensuing kickoff, a long kickoff return by Kendrick Starling set up the Mavericks for a touchdown drive that ended when Kyle Daniel went in from a yard out and was 7-16 left in the ball game. The Mavericks were back on top 21-14, but the Lobos hung in there, and with 5.08 left in the game, Trey Pierce and Kevin Bishop hooked up on a 43-yard touchdown pass, and that tied the ball game at 21-21. That's where we are now, and we're down to 31 seconds left, and apparently headed for overtime. Well, it looks like Longview has a couple of timeouts, and Marshall has three. But with the 31 seconds, I think it would be incumbent just to get out of this regulation game and let's slug it out in overtime. 21 to 21 and 31 seconds, and here come the Longview Lobos as they're poised to do battle in the final moments. Tally the deep back, and he gets the handoff, and Tally trying to get outside has a couple of blockers, but he's going to go down at the 29 yard line. And the clock continues with 22 seconds. Stops there with 22 seconds. 22 remaining in this football game. It is a first down for the Lobos, so they stop the clock to move the chains. And they'll get it started here. And 22 seconds is all that remains in this regulation contest. Now, now the Lobos don't have to run a play here because no, just there's less time than what's on the play clock. So let's see what they do. Looks like they're going to try and get one off. Oh, they Nine never... seconds, eight seconds, maybe one last fling here. Two, one, and Trey right. Pierce just takes a knee. Right. And so we're going to go to overtime here at Lobo Stadium with our score tied 21-21 as these two teams have slugged it out for 48 minutes. And we've got a overtime period coming up, and... We're going to have that for you right after we take a break. Our score at the end of regulation play, Marshall 21 and Longview 21. <laughs> 